So there was a lot of news this weekend about uh, landlords, property management companies, people being fed up. Yep. And I'm glad. And I th I'm glad that the landlords today have finally said the system in place to deal with evictions of tenants for not for non-payment, et cetera, doesn't fucking work. I'm sorry. It's not working. It's 10 months to get into in front of a judge. There's you communicated to me a couple of days ago that it's zoom. They're still not doing in, in court appearances. So that really slows down the whole process, et cetera, et cetera. And another point before we dive in, we're giving it all our goodies away now, but I think it's, it's both on really on my mind about it is that you, if, if someone goes, so me and you are, I'm your tenant and you're the landlord and I don't show up for the zoom. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to, no problem. We will reschedule. So it's months and months and months. The system is so broken and people are done. And this is what I found on TikTok over the weekend. Brampton landlord throws tenants out. And I'm pro landlord because I've been a landlord before that has gotten screwed for non-payment plus destroying the house plus gone through two or three evictions to finally get them out. It's not a fun experience. So I'll try to make this a little bit bigger and we'll talk about a few things in here. So you can see Mr. Police Officer in here and you can see all the tenant's personal belongings out here. Me and you both know that the only one that can make decisions on tenant issues is the LTB. Not this guy with the blue police cap on his, well, he doesn't have a hat on, but he can't do shit basically. So no. for that tenant to get back in, they're going to get have to get court date and that could take months. And Diane, I am so friggin frustrated with how much landlords are, are going to, to lose and how much people have stopped renting out their apartments sold them off, stop renting out their basements because the laws are one-sided. Go ahead. I'm done my venting of. Well, the, yeah, a couple things I wanted to say too is so the landlord took it in his own hands. He just threw everything out. And at the end of the day, the police can't get involved in LTB hearings. I had the one where we sold the property and the tenant stayed and the new person was moving in and they called the police and said, this person's in my house. We gave her the N12, the eviction. She just didn't leave. Yeah. And the police said, well, we can't do anything. That's right. The, the police can't do anything, right? Yeah. They can't. Yeah. Yeah. So now the tenant would have to try to get a landlord tenant board hearing. Now, mind you, their hearing might be faster than the landlord because the tenant hearings, you know, of course, they go faster. You know that, right? Right, right. So it's all skewed more to them. Right. But the police aren't going to get involved in these situations whatsoever. They're done. They're not going to. And, no. you know, we look at how much rents have gone up. Yes, COVID, and, and they're continuing going up because there's short supply. My brother was talking to me, and we're talking the other day, because he told me a couple weeks ago about the issue up at uh, in North Bay, where there's, you know, Nipsey University in Canada or college, pretty big, you know, education places. Um, there's no places to go for these students. Students are living in cars. He talked to a friend of his last night and said, I'm thinking of renting out a room in my house because I can get a thousand dollars a month for it. Mm -hmm. Either for one room, a thousand bucks a month. So, you know, the government should be making it a more balanced playing field. And I think maybe some of these investors would open their doors and rent the properties back out. But they're done getting screwed. And we are going to see more of this. And I'm glad that we are because why is it okay for someone to occupy a home and be allowed not to pay and nothing really happens? That's to me, that's fraud and that's stealing. That's that's against well, it is. So look in Sault Ste. Marie on Friday, a property management company went on the internet on Facebook and posted this tenant that hasn't paid in 11 months. Yep. They had a court date, I think, in five or six months. They went there. The tenant didn't show up. Oh, it gets reprimanded because they didn't show up. So then they get another court date four or five months later. 
and the tenant doesn't show up again. So they're reprimanding it again. And the property management company actually went on the internet and put her name, put everything. Awesome. And people are up in arms because they put her name. And the property management company said, why does anybody feel that these people need to be protected? They're stealing. They're stealing. And if you like this information, subscribe, content, leave a comment. And if you're one of those tenants, I'd turn it off because you're not going to like this. <laughs> so, so that's well, the thing. And look at look at the tenant in my property that sold. Yeah. <laughs> Refusing to leave. Yeah. Just and refuses to that. leave. So and now we have forty thousand dollars to leave. Give me forty grand and I'll leave. Yeah. Give me forty thousand dollars and I'll leave. And now we we have the family put up in another house because yeah. we couldn't close the deal. Even though they got over 60 day notice. Now they got the 60 day notice in writing, but the property actually sold the middle of June. So they actually got like 75 day notice, right? And no, we're just not leaving. You know, you know what? Maybe your land your land, your client, the person who owns the property, maybe should do what the Brampton guy did. He has a set of keys, knows your schedule, time it out, look at when they're not home, that work. Follow that course for a couple of weeks. Go in there, dump your shit, get out. Our house is closed too bad. What's going to happen to him? Big fat zero. Well, Nothing going to happen. What can he do? My, what can do? What can they do? I don't know. But since my it my tenant, up. listen, since my tenant works for the city government, I don't know. What is the city going to do now if we kick one of their employees out on the road? Nothing. What can they do? They can't do a goddamn thing. So I'm so excited about that that someone had the fucking balls to say you're not paying and this probably this didn't happen just because he didn't pay first month's rent or you're late five days this guy has probably been there for eight months. months the bank's probably breathing down his neck to say hey we want our money we want our money you know maybe you know how many people invest properties that can't afford to keep paying for them paying from from, from bad tenants I mean, a couple of months and that's it. The guy's probably maxed out and said, this is enough. I'm taking things into my own hands and they're out. Good. Well, listen, uh, and, and most good. investors did variable rate mortgages. They yeah. all do. And so now their mortgages yeah. are doubled. Yeah. Right. So and now, now forget about making income on the property. That's right. They're already losing anyway. Yep. And now they're not paying rent. And the tenants know the system. I'm not it's saying every tenant terrible. in the world is bad, Mark. There's some good ones. There is. But we're seeing more bad and evil come out because the laws are that way. When I owned properties and I sold my portfolio in 16, when, when and I had a big problem in 2009 where tenants, and it was my own. I, I, made, I made the bad mistake. You know, I didn't do my due diligence, whatever. It was a big learning experience, but I got a paralegal. I won't go into all this stuff because it takes too long. But long story short, you know, go to the hearing one day the, and I hired a property uh, paralegal to deal with it. And she goes, you're in for a show. And what do you mean? Oh, that's the mom um, of the pair of the tenants. Sure enough. Well, they're at the hospital all night with their daughter. We asked for more time. Okay. Gave them more time. Great. So another two months, they live there again, rent free. Got another date. We go there. They didn't show up. In favor of you, Mr. Turcott. Thanks. You're done. Take that. Wait for the order to come in. Go to the sheriff, and they were gone. But that doesn't happen today. No. Now, That's if you don't show up, they you, just push it off. Mm -hmm. Push it off until you can show up. And yeah. you know the other thing. So there's Facebook forums for tenants. Do you know this, right? Yeah, I've seen a little bit about it. Yes. Where they they all tell each other what to do. Yeah. So don't do this. You can do this. You can do that. Right. Don't show up. It'll you'll just get another date. They 100%. they all are in contact with each other and they know what to do. That's right. Yep. They know the system, but you know, it's going to change. And, and I don't understand why our Ontario government thinks it's okay. We have a housing crisis in every municipality in town today. No rentals, shortage of homes. This is created by them. They created this mess. And these tenants are all crying, oh, the rents are so high. And look at that. Well, there's no supply. And, and investors aren't buying right now. They're not buying property. It's not happening. Not at these rates. And, the, and you know what the other thing is? 
that the the court system and the LTB system is such a joke. No one yeah. wants to rent anymore. No. People are selling them for mm -hmm. families to move in because nobody wants to rent. No. Like the no. government's created their own monster and their leniency. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you don't have to protect tenants to a degree if they protect are. It. I agree. Like so that, the, the one, the one on my property right now that refuses to leave and wants the $40,000, they've no. lived there for five years and they've never had one rent increase. No, that's, that's good. But you know, I think, no, what I mean is it doesn't matter if you're a good landlord or not. It doesn't matter. There's, you there's... get screwed anyway. Right. At, at the end of the day, you're getting screwed regardless whether you're good to your tenants or not. Yeah. My and, client can't afford the house anymore. He has a variable rate mortgage. He yeah. owns the house. He needs to sell the house. Yeah. We sold the house and yeah. they won't get out of it. And it's right. trash, by the way. Right. So that's the other thing to do is that people are going in, they're destroying them. And let's face it. If you went after these people to collect the money, you'd, you'd, you'd win, but you might get it over 20 years. Put a judgment so you get some... You'd get their HST or the whatever, like, fuck that idea. Like, it's just take the hit on income tax, get it done, be gone with it, write it off as bad debt, whatever. But, you know, it's scary out there today. And I am definitely pro landlord all the way for non-payment of rent. Don't pay, get out, take your shit and that's it. Well, and not only that, if the landlord decides to sell the house, because I've had this on more than one occasion in the last two or three years, no, they feel some kind of, um, I, I don't even know what to call it, that they're entitled. There's some kind of entitlement that yeah. this is oh, my yeah. house. We have memories in this house. They're, it's not your house. You don't own it. You pay to occupy it and that's it. You don't own it. You yeah. don't own the space. You don't own the house. Take pictures to make memories. Don't, don't give me your song and dance and cry in your blues about how much good memories you have. Put it on your phone. Uh, well, at the end of the day, you made the decision to rent a home and you could have been kicked out in one year. The fact that you got to stay there for five years with your family, yeah, you're pretty lucky. Did yeah. you think you were going to just live in somebody else's house forever? No. Yeah. They do. They do. And and, the, and that's the thing. And, and I, again, I'm jumping for joy that someone finally had the balls to do it. And there was a couple clips to it. I only caught you know one or two of them, but they had an audience outside filming this because holy cow, we haven't seen this happen before. Right. And let's face it, the neighbors around know what's going on at the house, probably could, for whatever reason, they know what's going on. So I'm sure they were excited about it. Went, wow. Good for him. Well, I had a tenant one time break into the basement apartment and steal my basement tenants. It was the upper tenant, steal her TV. So I bought her a new TV because I felt guilty. I used one, but I bought her the same one she had. Okay. Two weeks later, he cuts a hole in my garage door, in through the garage, into her apartment, and steals the second TV. Honestly. He had the garage door open when he did this. So the neighbor saw and and told the police he was a witness, right? Yeah, sure. So they charge him and he can't come within 100 feet of the house now because yeah. he's destroyed my property and he stole. So now they just leave and they leave everything in the house. Yeah. Furniture, baby clothes. Yeah. Gone. Happy They're to gone. You. So I call my lawyer. I, I had a lawyer on this too. I, I hired a lawyer. Um, after 30 days, I could throw everything in the garbage. So they abandoned the unit. After 30 days, I get a bin. It took three bins, by the way. I did I did save all the children's clothes because I felt like I can't I yeah, can't yeah. do that. So I took garbage bags and I saved the kids' stuff. Mm -hmm. Everything else went in the bin. And her mom shows up and says, You can't throw their stuff away, blah, 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 starts freaking out on me. Mm -hmm. Calls the police. The police show up. And say, well, she has every right. I get my lawyer on the phone. He talks to the police. Police says, oh, no, she can do whatever she wants. Yeah. And yeah, they yeah. say, well, can we at least take the kids' beds? I said, sure. Uh, you know, you can come back, take no. the kids' beds. I gave them the clothes and everything else. Yeah. And um, I just chucked everything they owned. It was gone. Yeah. You know, the system needs to change the 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 whole LTB needs to be revamped 
and make fair for both parties and have access to these judges or these hearings faster times, not months away. Well, they right. hired 35 people apparently, Good deal. Good <laughs> but they're still going on Zoom. So they right. still have to time them out and everything goes slower. Yeah. It's still taken seven, eight, nine months. It does. And, you know, it still leans towards the landlord. If the, if the tenant doesn't show up, they're out. What the hell? Why, why are we giving them another 10 months till we can get a hearing? I know. That's the problem, right? And I don't know. Like, some places like here, the East Coast, doesn't have crazy, stupid rules like we do in Ontario. No. I, I heard my... my uh, my ex client lives in New Brunswick and he said yeah. it's like two weeks. Yeah. Boom, That's... boom. There's none of this messing around. Messing if around. you want people, okay, if you're Doug Ford, if you want people to invest in Ontario, if you want builders and investors to do multi family housing so we can deal with this population, then you better straighten out your act because nobody wants to get into the, those kind of rentals anymore. Nobody. And what's going on, And because a buddy of mine works a lot in GTA area, and big demand for multi-res housing, but not for investing and in putting tenants for families to occupy level A and level B. Yep. Done. And it has to be vacant. They are not taking the chance of, you know, okay, well, here's your N11 and you're signing, you're gone and attendance. No, no, they're, they're not going after that. If it's vacant, boom, multiple, multiple, multiple bids. Oh yeah. And you know what else too, Mark? If the property is tenanted, you can't sell it. Well, you could still sell it, right? Nobody but wants to buy it. Nobody wants to buy it. That's the problem, right? It, it's, 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 you got to give it. it away. Give it away or give those tenants some monies to go. And you know, you're, we're going to see more and more of that as these housing prices keep going up because they're going to. And I think we're going to still continue to have a shortfall in the rental market for available housing for people because we're seeing a little bit up here where two families are buying the home or mom and dad's moving upstairs or whatever. It's happening now. And that I would not want to really be an investor today buying properties in dealing with with the stuff that they got going on now so it's going to be interesting in the next three to five to see who's occupying those homes and i don't think well i see i see it more here too where it's two families 100 percent, it's coming mm -hmm. we're seeing it down south we're going to continue to see see it in these areas and it's just even further up north where there's no available supply who would think there'd be no available supply in north bay <laughs> I don't get that. I know. I zero, zero, zero. Because people aren't doing it anymore. They don't want to do it. It's too hard. It's too risky. It's not. And you have to have you have to have over seven fifty credit rating. You to become a tenant nowadays, you better have a good job, good credit, and have everything like great. No pets. Not a bunch of kids. They're not no. taking you. No. No. And, you know, there's agencies out there, too, where where landlords can obtain credit ratings and a, a, a landlord can put a bad credit rating on someone's, you know, credit report for non-payment. So it is getting tougher in some of those things, but not every, you know, real estate investor knows all those programs and what's out there today. They don't. Oh, they listen, there, there's a Facebook group for landlord support as well because my client's one of them and he yeah. said well once we get the eviction i can put his name up there i can Good. say what he did he's yeah. like you can you, you can do whatever you want like at the end of the Absolutely. day if you're telling the truth right there's no there's no laws against me saying that a tenant was bad or you can't publish something this is all right we can do anything we want to put up there yeah right okay i think that's a wrap Yep, we're good to go, Mark. Okay, enjoy your day. Talk soon. Okay, bye-bye.